What is up guys, Thaddeus here. In today's video, we're gonna be going over five tips that I can give you guys on just how to actually create a better campaign that you know is is utilizing more targeting, you just overall just less generalized because a lot of people, you know, they, they go into Facebook, they hop into Facebook ads, they don't really know what they're doing, they don't really know how to narrow their audience, how to target it, how to just get more specific to actually find people that are interested in whatever they're selling, right? So it's gonna be a really quick video, just five little tips basically on just what you can use, what you can kind of do to to potentially get better results, all right? So let's do that, all right? Tip number one, guys, one, one. <laughs> use Facebook audience insights. A lot of people don't, a lot of people don't even realize that that's a thing. And what it is, right, so like basically I'll have some stuff go over the screen while I'm talking here, but essentially guys, you can basically get information on your potential target audience who's you know interested in your products, what, who's relevant essentially, before you actually spend your own hard-earned money trying to get those people to your site, right? It's, it's more of a way of just gathering information because guys, dropshipping, e-commerce, whatever you're doing, it's a numbers game, right? Marketing is a numbers game. You need to know your numbers because essentially, if you know your numbers, if you know how much it costs to get someone to buy a product, to get someone to add to cart, to get someone to just look at your website, right? To get someone to click through to your website. If you know those numbers, guys, and you know how much it costs to get them, you know, to purchase or to make money, then essentially you're printing money, right? That, that's kind of the gist of it, right? But the whole point of it is you need to know your numbers and with Facebook audience insights, it's just an easy way to kind of gather information about your relevant target audience before you start investing into you know paid advertising. Because some of you guys don't have a lot of like room. Oh, my hoodie's messed up. Some of you guys don't have you know big budgets to play with or can't afford to lose money um, with whatever you know you're marketing, right? So that, that's just one tip that you guys can kind of use and utilize better. Because um, you guys with with audiences that you can get a lot of information. Okay. All right, guys. Tip number two. Um, this is kind of a. It's sort of, sort of like a, a optional kind of thing. But essentially, what you guys can do is you basically have your ads, right? But you send them to a landing page, not specifically, you know, a product page right away, right? So if you're running an ad to a specific product, you basically like essentially like you know your pixel is tracking, you know, hey, this kind of person is visiting the website. This kind of person, you know, adding adding this product to the cart. But if you accompany it with a landing page, guys, you can basically kind of scrape potentially more information or increased conversion rates by having a landing page you know kind of go in between the ad and then visiting your website okay what that does is like hey you have a chance to actually tell them more about the product you're actually selling instead of you know hey throw an ad in their face they see the product and then they kind of just supposed to buy it right away right because it works right but i'm just saying this is why it's the optional is a company with a landing page where you can kind of supply the visitor with more information or you can you know scrape more information from them like emails whatever that is to increase your conversion rates all right now tip number three create you know different ad sets for each audience or vice versa essentially what that means guys because with facebook it's very flexible and kind of who you can target and with like what you can target right so a lot of people they they make one specific ad right image caption whatever it is okay and they target one specific audience that's not really what you want to do in most cases okay a lot of it comes down to experimentation and the, the the testing and everything else like that so essentially what you do is you can make one ad but you can target you know different audiences you might have an ad here you're gonna use that to target you know this audience 18 to 24 year old males right or this audience 24 to 37 year old males or this audience you know 18 to 30 year old like women right I'm, like those are very generalized right oh, but I'm just trying to give you guys an example of just hey test different audiences with ads or again vice versa you have you know that 18 to 24 year old men the 24 to 34 year old men and the 18 to 30 year old women right so you have those three different audiences throw different ads at them, right? That could be a thing, because like, essentially it's like, for, for, for you guys, I like, personally, right? Think of someone 10 years younger than you, or 10 years older than you. They're not gonna be interested, or they're not gonna basically have the same sort of attention interest that you have, right? So throwing the same sort of ad in their face isn't gonna be as relevant as, you know, someone your age, right? You kind of see what I mean? So basically, guys, it's all about testing, right? So you can test different imagery, different captions for different, you know, audiences that you have to kind of see which ones click instead of just throwing one and then kind of throwing that at everyone and seeing, you know, which ones um, are more interested in doing that, right? Because again, guys, just more experimentation and more testing, all right? All right, guys, uh, number four, use good content. I can't stress this enough. A lot of people don't, like they brush us off, right? I'm, I'm, sure, I'm, I'm, I'm about 99% positive that if you guys like, after you heard this tip, you're just like, get out of here, right? But I'm serious, guys. Content is king, especially with social media, Instagram, Facebook, all this stuff. It's imagery, 
Okay, there's a reason Facebook ads, Instagram ads, whatever they do, they limit you to 20% of your image can, only, like, can have text, right? There's a reason they want your image to be an image. It's supposed to get attention. It's not supposed to be um, some crappy image that has a bunch of text that says, hey, buy my shit, right? That's not it. That's not what you want to do, okay? Images are supposed to be good images that get the user's attention. Then they look at the caption, the whatever you're, like the article, whatever it is, and then from there, they go to whatever you're selling, the product, um, the website, the service, whatever it is, okay? So that's the thing, guys. You need to have good images, and that's why with dropshipping e-commerce, that's what I preach, is, hey, you need to take your own pictures, get your own product pictures, okay? If you can't do it yourself, find photographers, find connections, find networks that you can get this done. Send it to influencers, do whatever you are doing so you can get your own content, so you can have good product imagery for your ads, for your website, for, for your social media, all right? Now, the last tip that I wanna go over is basically, Stick to a budget, okay? Some people, they kind of, they, they make an ad, right? This, this might be you, and they kind of let it run for a few days before they get scared, or before like, oh my gosh, nothing's happened in the first day, I need to stop this ad and do something else, or oh my gosh, it's been 48 hours, um, it's not doing what I want it to do, or I'm not getting the results I want to get. It's like, guys, you need to let the ad mature, you need to let you know your pixel mature. It's like, again, for drop, for drop shipping, right? There's a reason I tell you guys, Hey, you need to drive traffic for X amount of time or X amount of orders so that your Facebook pixel can kind of gather data. Okay, it's not going to gather data after you know one day. That's not that's not necessarily the case unless you have you know, insane amounts of traffic. But what I'm saying, guys, is you need to let that ad mature, which means hey, after 24 hours, it might not have fully kind of settled in, and if it, like in that, in that sort of way of explaining things. Okay, so basically, if you have a budget, guys, stick to it. Don't you know kind of like weasel out beforehand again if it's a lot of money and if you can't afford to lose it then you know there's certain exceptions but essentially if you're doing my strategy like hey if you're doing five dollars a day for five different objectives for five days that's 25 dollars a day in ads stick to it okay after two days if you haven't had any like results yet like conversions whatever it is let it kind of settle in for a few days because there's a reason i call it testing for that period of time it's testing it's not supposed to get you results right away okay so there's different ways to go about that guys but that is the the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Those are five little tips for you guys to take home with you for your Facebook ads. Um, don't forget to like, leave a comment, respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. We are doing a video a day, and I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, guys, and peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Check out the Ecom Hub, my personal platform, which covers literally everything e commerce related from the mastery course, the free PDFs, and mini courses. And last but not least, don't forget to check out my social media and follow me for updates, giveaways, and literally everything that's cool. It's all night. Don't give me too easy. I like a little challenge. When it feels better, will you take a little damage?